Bible said the nations that forget God shall be turned into hell. Hell is a place that literally exists. If you're very smart today, have half intelligence, you ought to be doing some thinking about where you're going when you leave this world. There's one thing that is absolutely certain, and you ought to know this. You should know it and come to face with it. Come to the facts and settle this. You are going to die. You will leave planet Earth. I know you think that you're going to live forever. You'd like to put this out of your mind and not think of the fact that one day you'll draw your last breath. Your heart will beat its last time. There'll be no more life left in your body. Where is your soul going? prepared. I know you prepared your house. I know you prepared your income. I know you prepared your marriage, your children. You planned out your whole life. But you've made no plans whatsoever for where you're headed when you leave this world. Hell is a place. It is a place that existed before you were ever born. It is there. It's going to be there. And there's nothing you can do to change that one bit whatsoever. It doesn't make any difference if the churches today have stopped preaching on hell, if the preachers don't preach on hell, if the seminaries and Bible colleges don't teach the young men about hell, if they extricate it from the Bible, it makes no difference whatsoever. It is still a place that you must deal with one day. Somebody, my friend, died this morning and they went to hell. Somebody took their last breath. Luke chapter 16, when the rich man died and was buried, and the Bible says in hell, he lifted up his eyes. It's, a, it's almost as if it says he awakened in a place that was absolutely beyond his wildest imagination. He never for one time thought that such a place like that could exist. He lifted up his eyes in hell. He became aware of his presence. He knew where he was. And from that moment on, there's not a thing he could do to change his circumstance and his situation. There is no salvation in hell. There's no Savior in hell. There's no Bible in hell. There's no forgiveness in hell. Whatever goes to hell stays in hell. It's permanent. It's settled. It's settled. It's over with. What you've done in this life is what determines where you go. When you die without God, you go to hell. Hell is a place, therefore, that awaits you at the end of your life. It's waiting. It's a place that, my friend, has plenty of patience. It doesn't matter if you live 150 years. It won't bother hell one bit. It's waiting. It has much patience. For it knows that every soul lost without God that departs from this world will enter into its mouth. It will take its clutches, as, as, as Joel said, and wrap themselves around it and pull it down into the midst of hell itself. It gives it an identity, a personality, almost like hell takes glee in the fact that those that die without God are entering into its presence. That's why Jesus came 2,000 years ago. That's why He died at the cross at Calvary. He didn't die to make you rich. He didn't die because of who you are. He didn't die to create this hell hole you know about. He died to keep you out of hell. This is all associated with severe psychological pain. Feelings of helplessness, disgrace, and shame will accompany them. Under all this suffering, the people of hell will be the enemies of each other. They will constantly curse each other, as well as insane screaming, bawling, begging, moaning, and groaning will merge into a deafening howl. There's just one name that can keep you out of hell, and it's the name of Jesus! 
who wants to sin. I know you are in a rush due to the overpowering temptation of disobedience. But before you commit the sin, I would like you to take a few deep breaths. Absorb. Now! But something takes your life away. You could die before the sun goes down. Your body be lying dead in the morgue down here some, somewhere. And to be having your funeral a couple of days from now. Where will you be? Nation, it is enough to have one sin, which we already do, to receive severe punishment. Those who die as deviators will be firewood for hellfire. They will be tormented by it. Their faces will be rolled over in fire with their hands. Once they enter this place, there will be no way out. However, you didn't enter it yet, and you have a great chance not to. You've heard the truth. Now using your free will, you can choose your next actions carefully. No matter what your choice is, remember that you are the one responsible for your decisions.